Hey guys, this is Talon JH again, and uh, I'm here to talk about, of course, Konami and Kojima, the continued controversy and <laughs> every crazy thing going on. Um, so first, let me start by saying uh, I've always been a big Konami and a Kojima fan. Uh, to be honest, Konami's probably pushing me away these days. Uh, I don't know how to keep supporting them. But yeah, like all like even not even counting all the Metal Gears, which I've beaten and played all of them. It's I've always been a fan of theirs. It's uh, even without, as I was saying, even without Kojima, I was even a fan of Hudson Soft, which I feel like that's where a lot of my favorite Konami titles came from. But anyway, um, so. As everybody already knows, Kojima left. We don't know if he was fired or or if he left of his own accord. We just it will probably never know. I mean, it's just one of those things. Um, he does have a non compete, so he can't really go anywhere or really. He's probably also locked down where he can't even talk about anything, and um, we don't know what the duration of that is. But anyway, back to the recent stuff because this stuff has been going on forever. Um, so, the video game awards were last night, and Kojima couldn't accept the award. Like, he actually... <laughs> he was invited, and he wanted to be there. But he was barred from actually accepting an award um, for Metal Gear. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. So... I'm gonna go back just a little bit further before I even go into that. Um, so, a few days ago, there was an, a PlayStation Award, and uh, a PR person picked up the award for for Metal Gear, and uh, a lot of people were kind of talking about it and like saying Konami didn't let him pick up this award or whatever, and everybody was basically, well, I don't want to say everybody generalization but um, people were basically like you guys calm down there's no controversy it's just that he's too busy he's at the video game awards because we we he was in LA at least that's <laughs> our understanding I mean I believe he had tweeted and other things he planned on being I think this came very late in into all of this like I think he, he like like a day or so before like they probably told him oh um, you can't take this award <laughs> but um so yeah everybody was saying this or <laughs> I keep saying everybody but anyway um, people were saying that basically he was gonna be there so we, we kind of just the people laid off um, I didn't know what to think I just figured whatever um, maybe it's Konami being crazy, maybe it's not. Um, so last night happens, back to the Video Game Awards, um, and we come up to the award, and, um, Jeff Keighley basically, um, takes a second to jab at Konami. He basically says, look, actually, let me read the quote. The quote is, Mr. Kojima had every intention of being with us tonight, but unfortunately he was informed by a lawyer representing Konami, Konami yeah, just re recently that he would not be allowed to travel to tonight's award ceremony to accept any awards. He's still under employment contract and it's disappointing. Um, <laughs> you really wouldn't hear this type of thing from any other award show like uh, Jeff Keighley really <laughs> kind of stepped it up here it's really surprising like you you wouldn't want <laughs> most award shows they really try to stay away from any controversy or anything like this and Jeff Keighley say what you will about the video game awards he's doing a great job he's trying I mean and he's doing it himself it's not this isn't backed by um, spike TV or anything like that and he's gonna have to do some things he is taking sponsors he is giving so 
you see those commercials in there for apps and you see him taking commercials from Microsoft and Sony or whatever and they throw those in there it's, it's basically they need to pay for it somehow but anyway so <laughs> Kojima couldn't accept this award and I, I just met so when this was happening I remember here like he he looked serious but this is Jeff Keighley I'm talking about he looked serious but I just figured you know this is all just a Kojima plot like I mean I remember when we first got word that Kojima Kojima's name was getting taken off of a lot of um, titles and things like that off the website everything and <laughs> I remember thinking that this was all just uh, another con or something like that, another Kojima crazy stunt that he does, because that that's just what he does. Um, I, <laughs> I at no point did I think this was actually real, but then after a while, like it just became apparent that yeah, this is the real deal. Like Konami is being spiteful like they they just don't care and it's strange because you would think that they would care about like there's this disconnect where they think that people don't care that much and it's simply not true I, I understand they're trying to focus a little bit more on their other parts of their business um, that's fine um, whatever pachinko machines and everything like that but even if they don't plan on ever making another video game which they've said that they're going to continue making Metal Gear they said they're going to continue making games on consoles and PC whatever you don't throw <laughs> this much bad PR for no reason like why, why even do that like it just makes no sense except for just being childish and it really is it's childish it's like a kid saying um, I'm mad at you <laughs> don't ever come around here again like they're <laughs> they're taking the ball and leaving so yeah so I, I really believe that Kujiba probably was coming to the show and then they were just like oh um you can't come and I, I I believe he was probably just said like they Jeff Keighley said he was in Tokyo I believe or something like that but I, I wouldn't be surprised like for some reason I got this image of Kojima sitting in his hotel room like across the street <laughs> waiting like just watching the show and <laughs> it, it's it, it really is so crazy like I you just don't expect this from like a bigger company but yeah all I can say is Konami get over it just uh, I mean whatever you're mad at him or he's mad at you you guys just gotta get over it um, and what makes it even worse is we all know that or Kojima is basically a really big uh, Star Wars fan and Mark Hamill was uh, presenting the award so that was a missed opportunity for him and uh, that sucks but anyway we'll see what happens and if this all works out, it works out, and if it doesn't, whatever. So I guess that's about it. Um, as always, like, subscribe, comment. I'm always willing to talk and always want to talk with you guys. So um, I appreciate the support, and I guess I'll see you guys next video.